My name is uh, Ruben Braujos. If during your master you liked what you were studying and, um, and if you feel some kind of curiosity of why things are like they are explained to you, uh, then I think uh, you are a very good candidate to, to, to go towards a PhD. On the one hand, there is this feeling that you are doing something good for science, and this is a very good feeling. On the other hand, in my case, which is a very particular case, you are doing something that is very good for healthcare. So I'm trying to um, explore different uh, optimizations at the hardware and the software level in order to uh, create or build uh, devices for doing uh, health monitoring. In order to design a proper or, if, or, or the most of the optimal case, the most efficient one, you have to look at both. So you have to design the hardware, look into the software, and the software look into the hardware. You cannot, def I mean, you can design both independently, but the best result will come when both are designed together. So when both are co-designed. You have to basically save power on the hardware level as much as you can, but providing the necessary throughput in order to compute whenever you need to compute. But on the software side, you need to also, let's say, simplify or uh, uh, reduce the constraints or the requirements, computational requirements, in order to uh, reduce the amount of power that you need to consume, but without losing um, quality in the result. So far what we were doing was something good, which was continuous signal processing. Right now, what, with this algorithm that we developed, we can do selective digital signal processing, which means whenever we detect that there is something wrong, we do uh, detailed uh, analysis. Whenever something is normal, we don't do it. So we can save and enhance the uh, lifetime of these devices by doing this. On the hardware level, uh, as I said, we took these this, uh, multi-core systems that at the time I, where I took it, they were not very flexible. They were able to execute very well parallel applications, but only parallel applications. And we extended it in order to make them efficient to execute ideally any kind of biomedical application. We proved that using a properly synchronized multicore system uh, we can again uh, gain a lot of uh, let's say lifetime or reduce the power consumption against a traditional single core system.